The given function fx can be written as x square plus x plus 1 plus 1 in the numerator divided by x square plus x plus 1. This can be written as 1 plus 1 upon x square plus x plus 1. This is equal to 1 plus 1 upon x square plus x plus 1 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4. Now the first three terms in the denominator of the second term can be expressed as x plus half whole square and therefore fx is equal to 1 plus 1 upon x plus half whole square plus 3 upon 4. Now x plus half whole square is always greater than or equal to 0. Add 3 upon 4 to both sides and take the reciprocal. We get 1 upon x plus half whole square plus 3 upon 4 is less than or equal to 4 upon 3. Now add 1 to both sides. Notice that the left hand side is equal to fx as obtained above and it therefore follows that fx is always less than or equal to 7 upon 3. Let's call this result 1. Now fx is equal to 1 plus 1 upon x plus half whole square plus 3 upon 4 as derived above. As x tends to plus or minus infinity, the denominator of the second term tends to infinity and therefore the second term tends to 0 from the positive side. And therefore, fx tends to 1 from the positive side as x tends to plus or minus infinity. Let's call this result 2. From results 1 and 2, it follows that the range of fx is the interval greater than 1 less than or equal to 7 upon 3, which is the required answer.